today I'm here at my neighbor's place finishing up mowing uh, mowing the open areas with the bat wing. It's uh this probably should have been done earlier in the year, but I I didn't inherit this job until uh, until the middle of the summer, so uh, if my neighbors haven't sold their place next year, I'll, uh, I will get at this a little earlier. Well, I have actually made hay back here in the past. In fact, I, I have that on video and uh, I will try and put a link to that video up here when I post this. But, uh, like I said, in, like I say in that video, the, uh, in order to, to get here, I have to go down one ridge road and up another one. And uh, with the huge rain events that we've had over the last two years, uh, those ridge roads get washed out a lot. And uh, my neighbor had somebody come in and got them fixed up this year. And, in order to get the roads to hold, they put some really huge diversions uh, in several places on the roads. Uh, the old timers call them vacuums. I guess since I'm an old timer now, I should honor that tradition. But anyway, uh, what I'm talking about with a diversion is a, a big, a big hump in the middle of the road to divert the water off of the road and down over the hill. And like I said there, in order to get them to hold, to keep them from washing out, they had to make some really big ones. And uh, they're big enough, I can I can get over them with the tractor and the, uh, and the mower here, but uh, it's really, it's really too big for me to drag any hay equipment or any other kind of equipment that I really care about over them. So, so uh, that's why I don't make any hay up here anymore. And I try and be careful here because it, uh, just about oh, 20 feet over there, it goes just about straight down. There's a creek down there and some wetlands. And there's a road to, uh, there's just one farm at the end of that road. Actually, it used to be a farm uh, place down over the hill to my neighbor's place, so, so I kind of, uh, yeah, right here I need to uh, be a little bit careful. Okay, I've got this area all clipped off, so I will try and get you some video going down the ridge road and show you the big uh, diversions. The uh, top of the ridge road is, is right there. So we'll head on down. I think I mentioned in a uh, video that I put up this spring that my neighbors have this farm listed for sale right now, but they don't expect it to sell very quickly. So as long as they still own it, I'll keep doing this and keep operating the cropland. You can see the you can see the uh, top of the ridge road here right now. We'll head on down. And let's see. I'm in fourth gear right now. I think I'm going to back down to third. Here's the first diversion, right here at the head of the road, running the water off over the side. And here's another nice big diversion coming up right here. 
it's in the shade. You can see a little bit of water in there. Now there's a, uh, a little bit of a spring right in there. There's almost always water running out right there. So, so you have to, uh, have to put reverse gear or else the water will run down the road. Up and over we go. Now we're coming to the third big diversion right here. And like I said, these things have to be big. Here we go, up and over. These things have to be big or else these huge rain events that we've been getting the last few years just washes them right out. So now the next thing we come to is the little, little creek that we have to cross come down through here and this area this area off to my left in here is also uh, there's also usually just a little bit of water running over in there so this is this whole area in here is usually wet it doesn't look too bad right now but I bet if I drive drive over there to get muddy but anyway here's the here's the little creek we have to cross right now it doesn't run uh, too much down that way about 100 yards and 100 yards is the big spring where the really the, the true head of the creek starts and we've made it through here so now we go up the other ridge road and i won't i won't just show that it's just about like the one we just crossed and i thought i'd wrap this video up with me bailing the last day of 2020 this is it. It's really light. I'm over at my neighbor's. And it'll only be about half the load, and this will go in his barn to feed his horses. But, uh, yep, this is it. No more hay. And so that's it for today. Until next time, everyone be safe, and we'll see you later.